Bengkulu, historically known as Benkulen or British Benkulen, is one of the provinces of Indonesia and is located in the southwest coast of Sumatra. It was formed on 18 November 1968 by separating out the former Bengkulu Residency Area from South Sumatra Sumatra Selatan Province under Law No. 9 of 1967 and was realized by Government Regulation No. 20 of 1968. Spread over 19,813 square kilometers, it is bordered by the provinces of West Sumatra Sumatra Barat to the north, Jambi to the northeast, Lampung to the southeast, South Sumatra Sumatra Selatan to the east, and the India Ocean to the northwest, south, southwest, and west. Bengkulu is the 25th largest province by area, it is divided into nine regencies and the separate city of Bengkulu, the capital and largest city. Bengkulu is also the 26th largest province by population in Indonesia. According to a release by Baden Pusat Statistic, it has the 11th highest human development index among the provinces, with a score about 0.744 in 2013. By 2014, the province positions 28th highest in gross domestic product and 20th highest in life expectancy, 70.35 years. Bengkulu Province comprises not only land on southwest Sumatra, but also includes Mega Island and Engano Island in the Indian Ocean. Bengkulu has 525 km of coastline along the Indian Ocean on its western side, from Dusan Baru Palokan in Muko Muko Regency to Tabing Nasal in Kor Regency. Bengkulu is home to many natural resources such as coal and gold, and has big and potential geothermal resources. In addition, it is less developed than other provinces in Sumatra. Etymology Traditional sources suggest that the name Bengkulu or Bangkahulu derived from the word Bangkai and Hulu which means, "...carcasses located in an stream." According to the story, there was once a war between small kingdoms in Bengkulu, resulting in many casualties from both sides in the streams of Bengkulu. These casualties soon rotted as they were not buried, lying in river streams. This etymology is similar to the story of a war between the Majapahit Empire and the Pagaruyan Kingdom in Padang Sibasuk, an area once ruled by the Dharmasraya Empire, which also derives the name Padang Sibasuk from casualties rotting on the battlefield. History The region formed part of the Buddhist Srivijaya Empire in the 8th century, but this southwest Sumatran part was never under any big local patronage as of neighboring Palembang or Jambi Sultanates. There were only few smalls based on ethnicity such as in Sungai Sarut, Celebar, Pat Patulai, Balai Buntar, Sungai Lamao, Sakiris, Gaduma Gong and Mero Riang. It was then once a vassal region of Banten Sultanate from western Java and since 17th century was ruled by Manangkabau's Indarapura Sultanate today's in Pesisir Selatan, West Sumatra Province. The first European visitors to the area were the Portuguese, followed by the Dutch in 1596. The English East India Company established a pepper trading centre and garrison at Benkulu in 1685. In 1714 the British built Fort Marlborough, which still stands. The trading post was never profitable for the British, being hampered by a location which Europeans found unpleasant, and by an inability to find sufficient pepper to buy. It became an occasional port of call for the EIC's East Indomen. If anything the rest of Sumatra and for the most part of Indonesia was under Dutch East Indies, then Bengkulu was the lone exception in that it belonged to British English East India until an Anglo-Dutch treaty in 1824. Sir Stamford Raffles was here, as were other British governors, as well as a number of monuments and forts. Despite their difficulties, the British persisted, maintaining their presence for roughly 140 years before ceding it to the Dutch as part of the Anglo-Dutch Treaty of 1824 in exchange for Malacca. Bengkulu then remained part of the Dutch East Indies until the Japanese occupation in World War II. During Sukarno's imprisonment by the Dutch in the early 1930s, the future first president of Indonesia lived briefly in Bengkulu. Here he met his wife, Fatmawati, who bore him several children, one of whom, Megawati Sukarnaputri, became Indonesia's first female president. During early independence, Bengkulu was included in the older, South Sumatera, 
province with Lampung, the Bangka Blitung Archipelago and what became South Sumatera itself, as a residency. It finally gained its provincial status in 1968 as the 26th province prior to the last province, East Timor. Bengkulu lies near the Sunda Fault and is prone to earthquakes and tsunamis. The June 2000 Engano earthquake killed at least 100 people. A recent report predicts that Bengkulu is at risk of inundation over the next few decades from undersea earthquakes predicted along the coast of Sumatra. A series of earthquakes struck Bengkulu during September 2007, killing 13 people. Topic: <laughs> Geography and climate. Topic: Geographically, Bengkulu is located between 2 degrees and 5 degrees south latitude and between 101 degrees and 104 degrees eastern longitude. The western part of Bengkulu province bordering the Indian Ocean coast that has a length of about 576 km and the eastern part of the condition is hilly with a plateau that is prone to erosion. Bengkulu province is located in the west side of the Bukit Barisan Mountains. The total area of Bengkulu province reached approximately 1.97887 million hectares or 19,788.7 square kilometers. Bengkulu province area extends from the border province of West Sumatra to the border province of Lampung and the distance is approximately 567 kilometers. Judging from its geographical situation, Bengkulu province lies between 2 degrees 16. 03 degree 31. Latitude and 101 degrees 01 minus 103 degrees 41 east longitude. Bengkulu province in the north bordering the province of West Sumatra, in the southern Indian Ocean and Lampung province, in the west bordering the Indian Ocean and in the east with the province of Jambi and South Sumatra province, Bengkulu province bordered by the Indian Ocean coastline of approximately 525 km. Its western part is hilly with fertile plateaus, while the western part is lowland relatively narrow, elongated from north to south and punctuated selangi bumpy areas. Bengkulu climate is classified as tropical. Bengkulu has a large amount of rainfall throughout the year. This is true even for the driest month. The climate here is classified as AF by the Köppen Geiger system. In Bengkulu, the annual average temperature is 26.8 degrees Celsius. Within a year, the average rainfall is 3,360 mm. The total area of Bengkulu province is 19,788.7 square kilometers. In public administration, Bengkulu province is divided into eight districts and one town, consisting of 93 districts. Topic: <laughs> Population. Topic. The 2010 census reported a population of 1,715,568 including 875,663 males and 837,730 females. By January 2014 this had risen to 1,828,291. Topic: <laughs> Ethnic groups. Topic: Bengkulu is home to various indigenous ethnic groups. The Rajangs form the majority of the province with 64% of the population. The second largest ethnic group is the Javanese forming around 24%. Other minority indigenous ethnic groups includes Lembic, Sarawai, Pekal, Angano, Pasima, Manangkabau and Malays. There is also non-indigenous ethnic groups that mostly came from other parts of Indonesia such as Sundanese, Javanese, Assanese, Madaris, Batak, Chinese and others. Religion Islam forms majority of the population in the province with more than 95%. Christianity is the second largest religion with around 3% while the rest are Buddhist, Hindus mostly Balinese migrants and traditional beliefs. Languages <inaudible> <inaudible> As with other parts of Indonesia, Indonesian language is the official language in all formal occasions, institutions, and government affairs. However, local languages are still widely used in daily life. 
Most indigenous languages in Bengkulu belong to Malayan group of Austronesian languages such as Bengkulu Malay, Lembic, Pekal and Minangkabau varieties. The most widely spoken language in the province, Rajang, is unusual as it is the only Bornean language to be spoken in Sumatra and one of three outside of Borneo other than Malagasy in Madagascar and Yakin in Basilan. Engano's linguistic classification is still a debatable subject but currently it is classified as a highly divergent branch of nuclear Malayo-Polynesian. Besides Angano, there is also one less studied language that is nasal language, it may be related to Rajang or forms its own branch of Malayo-Polynesian. Non-indigenous ethnic groups also speak their own language, dialects. <laughs> <laughs> Administrative divisions Bengkulu Province is subdivided into nine regencies and the independent city of Bengkulu, which lies outside any regency. The regencies and city are listed below with their populations at the 2010 census and at the latest January 2014 estimates. Asterisk the area of central Bengkulu regency is included in the figure for North Bengkulu regency, of which it was formerly part. Economy. Topic. Three active coal mining companies produce between 200,000 and 400,000 tons of coal per year, which is exported to Malaysia, Singapore, South Asia, and East Asia. Fishing, particularly tuna and mackerel, is an important activity. Agricultural products exported by the province include ginger, bamboo shoots, and rubber. Topic. See also Topic. List of people from Bengkulu Topic. Notes Topic. Topic. References Topic. Reed, Anthony ed. 1995. Witnesses to Sumatra, a Traveler's Anthology. Kuala Lumpur, Oxford University Press. pp. 125-133. Reprints of British-era primary source material Wilkinson, R. J. 1938. Benkulan. Journal of the Malayan Branch Royal Asiatic Society, 16 127-133. Overview of the British experience in Benkulan. <laughs>